Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. As you can see, I'm about to go to bed. So, <laughs> y'all catching me literally right before I'm about to go to bed. But today, we are going to be talking about Joe Budden and Cardi B. Real quick for eight minutes, y'all should y'all should be praising me right now because literally, I'm about I'm about to go to bed. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta put this video out because I didn't put out one yesterday. Let me go ahead and feed them. Let me feed the fan. Let me not the fans. Let me feed the supporters. Stop playing with me. Anyway. We talking about Cardi B and Joe Budden, right? Uh, Cardi B reacts to Joe Budden's comments about her and Megan Thee Stallion's new song. I just feel like he has an issue with me. Now, I'm going to read the full statement of what she said. She said, I just feel like this guy has an issue with me and is beyond the critique of bongos. That's her new song with Megan Thee Stallion. We're going to talk about that in a minute. She then went on and, bring, uh, and brought up his former co-host, Rory and Maul, who used to have things to say about Budden. When Maul and Rory said F-ish about you or lies about you, you get so defensive and want to clear it up. And you came at Taxstone because he said something about you and you wanted to clear it up. You want people to understand you and you want people to take your side. Um, and then towards the end of the conversation, she begins to speak about uh, how Joe Bunnan went to interview Tasha K, who made up multiple lies about her in the media. Uh, and, this is, and this is what Joe Bunn said. Pretty much... Uh, he said, what did he say? Oh, he said that the song sounds like a science project. That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, that's kind of funny. Remember I said all the top, top, top artists make songs like a science project? That's what this sounds like he shared. This beat is undeniable because it's already worked. We're going to put two of our biggest woman rappers on it, talk, talking that normal-ish, but I don't think this song is going to work at all. Um... I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if y'all caught the VMA awards with. Oh, let me move this. I don't know if y'all caught the VMA awards with Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, but they actually did a pretty good performance. Like the performance, pretty good. And I didn't watch the V. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Here we go. Cool. My bad, y'all. Anyway, um, I don't. I don't watch the VMA Awards. I don't even watch the BET Awards anymore. It's just it's because it's just not that interesting to me anymore. But I did saw the performance of Cardi B on YouTube. Cardi B and the Megan Stein performance of the Bongos. And I'm not a fan of the song, but I see what they were doing. And to be honest, she kind of achieved what she kind of achieved the goal. She tried to get the ratchet, but with the like kind of. I say not Afrobeat, but maybe Latina type of a uh, beat type of thing. She she did the assignment. She wrote the assignment. She achieved the assignment. That's why that's why I will say I know what she was doing, what she was trying to go with the song. She achieved it. So the song's not that. The song's not bad. Is is it better than WAP? Obviously not. But the song's not bad. It's a good song. And to be honest with you, Joe Budden kind of has. I see his point, but I definitely see where Cardi's coming from. Because Cardi's like, all right, bro, you don't like bongos. You're talking about this is a science project. But not only that, but you interviewed Tasha K, who said multiple lies, which she did. Um, even though you know, everyone knows she told multiple lies, you still wanted to interview her. Uh, then on top of that, you've been bashing me about how I'm not, you know, that girl anymore like that. And now you make it fun of my new song. So it's like all this stuff piled up. She's like, all right, bro, you attacking me type, type ish. And it's like, he not really attacking. He's kind of making a point, but I see where she coming from. Because even though me personally, I'm not really, I'm not going to listen to bongos in my car. I know other women are going to listen to that and they're probably going to like the song. It's not a miss. The song is not a miss at all, but I see what he's talking about because basically Joe Bunn is talking about Cardi B is giving commercial ratchet and Sexy Red and Sukiana's here now and they just giving on full on ratchet. Let me let me show y'all how ratchet uh, Cardi uh, not Cardi B um, Sexy Red is and he's right he has a point they are giving commercial ratchet and we're not here for that anymore like the fans want well we're not here I'm not here for none of it but 
the women fans, they want ratchet, ratchet. This is what Sexy Red said. I'm going to make a TikTok video on this too, so y'all can go watch that. But Sexy Red says the most romantic thing a man has done for her was rob someone on Valentine's. <sighs> Valentine's Day and give her the money. It was so sweet. Like, bro, first off, I don't even believe that happened. Like, yeah, there's a level of ghetto ness that happens, a level of ratchetness and ghetto ness that goes on in the hood. Trust me, I already know. I was born from I was born in the hood. The hood not that far from me. I'm in downtown LA. South Central LA is not that far. My business is out there anyway. So I see what goes on in the hood. But she's just doing the extras right now, bro. Talking about, oh yeah, he robbed somebody on Valentine's gave me the money. That was so sweet. Shut the But that's the ratchet that they want. That's what the that's what these new age women want. Cardi B came out with the Bodak yellow ratchet and stuff like that. It was cool. Why? Little, you know, somewhat commercial ratchet. It's like, all right, cool. But now that the sexy reds is here, no. They like, oh, move that commercial ratchet out. That's not it. Bongo, we ain't with that. We want the pound town. I hate. <laughs> I hate the West so much, bro. Why are we here? God. Never did I ever think that I would say that WAP, WAP is like a daycare song compared to what Sexy Red and Sukiyana is making. Y'all saw the video. Sukiyana said, my, my, my kitty good, that's why I uh, stay pregnant. What are we doing? Then uh, 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 Sexy Red said, my 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 cootie my cootie clean my my cum is clear his cum is green like what what <sighs> i'm stressed out even talking about it bro i'm not even playing like this is real stress i'm not like trying to make it up just to make the bit no this is real stress it stresses me out when i listen to their music and it's like damn bro but yeah um Ooh, let me not get sidetracked. Joe Budden, Cardi B. Again, I'm seeing where Cardi comes from. I'm seeing where Joe Budden comes from. Uh, I'm going to side with Cardi on this one, though. Because, yeah, Joe Budden, you do be doing some Mickey stuff sometimes. Like, Even though I like Joe Budden. I like his, I like his podcast and stuff like that. But he definitely... He tries to push... He's the type of person where he's going to throw rocks at you and then, hold his, and then hide his hands uh, behind his back and say, Oh, I didn't throw the rocks. It's like, bro, yeah, you... You didn't throw the big old rocks like these other players did, but yeah, you was throwing them too. Like, come on, bro. Like, why would you interview Tasha K after? Why would anybody interview Tasha K after the multiple lies she has told on Cardi B? And not even gonna go there. Not even gonna go there, bro. She just, yeah. We already know Tasha K is just a straight up weirdo. But I see where Cardi B is coming from. With that being said, though. Joe Budden did give just his like you know his critique on it, and so I do agree with his critique that yeah Bongos is not going to work as how what Sexy Red is doing because they don't want the commercialized ratchet they want the ghetto ratchet what Sexy Red is bringing, so I do agree with him on that. But overall, I'm going to side with Cardi B on this because yeah he she's absolutely right bro like you're doing you're doing the most bro you're interviewing Tasha K, you're trashing the song, you're saying that she's commercialized ratchet, not ghetto ratchet, and and this song's not gonna work. And just it just you're just doing it things compile, bro. You add stuff up too much, you look guilty. Big facts. But I'm done. Um I'm stressed out. I'm going to bed. So yeah, give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. You know, just let me know what y'all want. But please subscribe to the channel, all right? I will see y'all next time. Living, living just enough